It's Moser with more hints and tips on your 4B problems. This is number three from the 4B worksheet that's connected to the Holt Modern Physics book. Oh, this is a tricky one. When a click beetle jumps in the air, its acceleration upward can be 400 times acceleration due to gravity. An acceleration this large would instantly kill you, or me. For a beetle whose mass is 40 milligrams, calculate the magnitude of the force exerted by the beetle on the ground at the beginning of the jump with gravity taken into account. Calculate the magnitude of the force with gravity neglected. And we're told to use 9.807 meters per second squared as the value for free fall because the numbers we'll be dealing with here are so small that if you use 9.81, um, your, your lack of apparent precision will cause you problems. Okay, let's do a free body diagram. So I've started off with this. I've got the click beetle as my little object. And the force of gravity on the click beetle is mass times gravity. The force that the Earth is exerting upwards on the click beetle so that it accelerates upward is 400 times acceleration due to gravity. Now, how do we get to the next step here? Well, the first thing is a concept we haven't really talked much about, which is the whole equal and opposite forces. We're asked about the force exerted by the beetle on the ground. What we know is that that has to be equal to the force that the ground is exerting on the beetle, and I've used force earth because we've got too many F sub G's already. Um, so we're going to go ahead and know that the force of the beetle, we're going to start with this assumption, that the force that the beetle exerts on the ground is equal to the force, equal and opposite to the force that the ground exerts upward on the beetle. Of course, the beetle doesn't have a whole lot of mass, so it accelerates. The Earth has got a lot of mass. It doesn't even budge. So now, using this assumption, we're going to go ahead and focus on the force of the Earth on the beetle, because that's going to be, as we said, equal and opposite to the force of the beetle on the ground. We have to do a sum of forces. So I have sum of forces on the y is equal to the force of the Earth minus the force of gravity. Now I'm going to apologize. I had mislabeled something earlier. I said that the force on the Earth, or the force of the Earth up on the on the bug, was 400 times the force of gravity. That's not what we were told. What we were told was that the acceleration was equal to 400 times acceleration due to gravity. Well, that's g. So the acceleration here is equal to 400 g. That's going to become important. So I set the two parts of my sum of forces equal to one another. The force of the Earth minus the force of gravity equals mass times acceleration. And now I'm going to start doing some substitutions. Okay, so force of Earth minus Fg. Well, I know that Fg is equal to Mg, so that's easy. Now, for the next part here, I know that that's equal to mass times acceleration, but I know that that acceleration that we're discussing is equal to 400 times G. Oh see something coming together. We're being asked, of course, to solve for the force of the Earth. Can we do some rearranging here? Of course we can. Okay, force of the Earth equals 400 mg plus mg. Well, that actually, if we want to do some fancy algebra, would get us 401 mg. So, I think you've got it from here. Okay, carry on.